And now, welcome to Seven Questions with Emmy. Brought to you by Timberline Home, whose showroom in Idaho Falls is waiting for you to explore. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. It's been called the hottest holiday movie this season. I saw it with my family and we loved it. The best Christmas pageant ever is in theaters now. And today I'm chatting with one of the stars, Beatrice Schneider, who plays Emma Jean Herdman, a tough, botty girl who ends up landing the role of Mary in the community Christmas pageant. Beatrice, it's so good to see you. Hi, it's so nice to see you. I'm so excited. How old are you? I'm 12. Okay, are you ready to get started with the questions? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What was it like playing Imogene in the best Christmas pageant ever? Um, it was, well, I mean, at first I was actually pretty scared. It was pretty scary. I had a lot of, I mean, a lot of responsibility to have to play this character that um, was uh, portrayed as very beautiful in the book and written so well in the script and meant so much to Dallas. So, I mean, um, it was pretty nerve-wracking at first, but um, I enjoyed working. Well, you match how pretty it is. You're very pretty. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. You too. I love the color of your dress. Thank you. We needed something Christmassy, you know. <laughs> Green's uh, my favorite. Yeah, that's so cool. Uh, how did you get the part, and had you read the book before you started filming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did read the book before my screen test. So I had three auditions. I had one at home right here in this room with this camera and all this stuff. Um, and then I had a callback on Zoom like this on Halloween night. And then I was called for a screen test um, in Dallas, Texas, which was where Dallas, the director, was. And um, I did that, and I found out that I booked the part on my birthday, which is in two days. Wow, happy early birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh -huh. In the movie, that you started to cry during one of the scenes. How did you make yourself show different emotions as an actor? I need tips. I'm an actor, too. So. <laughs> okay, that's so cool. Um, yeah, so um, it's actually different with the tears on like every project you do. In this case, it, we filmed a scene on one of the last days of shooting and I had made amazing friends on set. And I looked around at three people. I looked around at Molly and Mason and Kinley and I just couldn't hold it together anymore, but it's really different. A lot of the time it's done with makeup. So yeah. yeah. And as for like showing emotions, um, instead of thinking about it like demonstrating emotions on your face you just really want to um be present with the other actor you're in the yeah scene. yeah um how did you get your start in show business okay so um my mom and my dad were right there both of those guys um they're both trained actors and when i was little i was pretty shy and um, so they put me into auditioning to see if it would help me, you know, get up, come out of my shell. And when I was just a little baby, I started to audition. I cried the first audition the whole time. I was not having it. But anyways, when I was five years old, I booked, I started to book and, you know, I really fell in love with it. What is the best thing about being an actor? I love the adventure that acting brings i mean traveling i never traveled for a role uh until here and even though it was winnipeg i really love to travel it's very fun and special but just yeah i love the adventurous feeling you get yeah what is your dream role and who would who's your dream person to act with my dream role i don't know if you know this movie but it's called the fugitive and I would love to play Dr. Richard Kimball in The Fugitive. It's like sort of mystery. It's very gritty, suspenseful. It's with Harrison Ford. Um, and I would love to get to act with Jack Nicholson, definitely. <laughs> well, if, if someone asked me that, I'd probably say you. You're really cool. It's... Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Hopefully I would one day we can meet in person, person so... Yeah, that would be really fun. Yeah. I have been in several productions and plays. What advice do you have for me and other actors? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for productions and plays, I would say to, um, I mean, reading is obviously a big part of acting. So I would say if you love to read books or watching movies or going to plays or just experiencing these things for yourself, I would say that this is definitely a good way to get involved and to sort of find love in this and what you do. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Of course. You, it's just so cool that I got to do an interview with you, and I would love to meet you someday. Yeah, me too. It's so cool that I got to interview you. It's fact, Um, we saw it on Saturday night, and I was like, I want to interview her. And then Dad reached out, I think, Sunday, and it was, you're like the fastest response we've ever had. It was so cool. I was super Ooh, excited. Yeah. And I got I was excited. School. I was like, yes, I'm doing this interview. Sorry. I got I got out of school early for this, too, so plus, plus. <laughs> Woo! That's always awesome. fun. <laughs> for the viewers watching, go watch The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. It really is. It's, like, one of my favorite movies now. And you get to see Beatrice in it. She's so good. And thank you for watching. And, Beatrice, thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Seven Questions with Emmy. Brought to you by Timberline Hope, whose showroom in Idaho Falls is waiting for you to explore.